Good morning, my fly babies and my patrons. It's me, your fly lady cat, and today I am here to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Wednesday, and it is our planning and desk day. We have a three-layer cake. Our first layer is all five of our routines. So we're going to start in the morning with our morning routine and our children's morning routine. Do yours first. You'll feel more in control. Then we're going to follow that with our laundry if you're staying home. Now if you're going off and you're a payroll fly baby, then you're going to do your laundry when you first get home. Laundry followed by paper clutter. That's about a one inch go through if you have a stack of paper clutter. Remember we're not handling it. We're just sorting it into needs to be handled or filed or it needs to go in the trash or shred. Okay. So, so far we've done three of our five, and then after dinner we're gonna do our after dinner routine, and then before bed, our before bed routine. And our children will go first, and then you'll do yourself, unless you're exhausted, and then you're gonna do yours first. Okay, next. That's, that's the first layer of our cake. Second layer of our cake, um, I'm gonna to skip to our zone. We're in zone three. Zone three is the bathroom and one other room. I know that you have chosen your other room, <clears throat> and by Wednesday, you may have already done everything you wanted to do in that bathroom, or you may have decided to stay in the bathroom the whole week. That's fine, you've got four days. Monday, Wednesday, that's today, Thursday and Friday. So, pick one thing, this is if it's decluttered, and do that one thing for 15 minutes or less, probably um, 10 minutes or less, because it's just a cleaning thing, one little cleaning thing. Um, if you've got clutter, then you're going to do it for 15 minutes and you're going to complete the process when you're done by throwing away the stuff you want to throw away, putting away in other parts of the house the stuff you want to put away, and giving away by putting the giveaway in the back of the car or the trunk of the car. All right, that's that. So I'm having you do the zone before you do the basic weekly plan because sometimes the basic weekly plan takes you out of the house or takes longer. And I don't wanna take you out of that get it done quick mode, okay? So now we're gonna go, I'm switching layers. This is a new thing I've started. I'm switching layers. So the final thing is gonna be your um, basic weekly plan item. Wednesday is planning and desk day. Now if you haven't been doing a planning and desk day every week, this is gonna take you a little bit of time, maybe an hour, maybe more. Because you're going to be looking in your refrigerator for things that need to be thrown away. You're gonna wipe it out. You're gonna organize the things in there, kind of take stock. You're gonna look in your freezer and you're gonna look in your pantry. You're going to make a grocery list based on what you have, or a menu rather, based on what you have. <clears throat> and then you're gonna make a grocery list based on what you need. Then you're going to go into your over to your desk and you're gonna check your budget and make sure that that grocery list matches what you've budgeted or is less than. Then you're going to balance your checkbook to make sure that it's really the real balance that you think is in there. Then you're going to check your debit card or credit card to make sure online there's no fraud happening. Then you're going to pay any bills that need to be paid and you're going to look in your inbox, the things that you've been putting that one inch of paper action items in, and you're going to either do the activity or file it if it needs to be filed. Don't file everything. Make your file very concise and file in broad categories. Okay, broad categories. The family, the household, the pets, the taxes. That's how you do it. You don't do individual little files or you never find anything. So let's say, for example, you're looking for your child's birth certificate. You pull out the family file and it's this thick. Well, guess what? It's not the whole file system. You know it's in here, so it won't take you long to find it. Yep, there it is, right? All right, that's just a little input on filing. All right, so you're going to um, take care of that inbox. Now, if you're working, you're not going to be able to sit at home for an hour and do this because you're at the office, but I do want you to grab your inbox pile and put that, or stack, it's probably not very much because you're doing this every week, but you're gonna put it in your purse so you can handle it on one of your breaks you know, you need to call the teacher, you need to call the doctor, you need to pay a bill, you need to discuss a bill or dispute something, that's in your purse. You can handle it, it might take you lunch, your lunch hour. Um, if you have time on your lunch hour, you're gonna balance your checkbook, check your debit card or credit card, make your grocery list, and you can even look and see what's in your refrigerator if you took a quick little picture with your phone, right? When you get home, you're going to throw away the dead stuff in the refrigerator and make a little room 
make it look nice. You can even take a wet microfiber cloth or a dish cloth and wipe the circles up in there. All right, so that's our planning and desk day. Now you're also gonna take your, your actual planner. Do I have my, mine's on the table over there. Your planner, see I'm on vacation, I have my planner with me. Um, you're gonna take your planner and you're going to make sure you project out your menus, what zone we're going into, next week is zone four, what happens every day, and all the things that you need to do, like take your child somewhere, take yourself somewhere, go to a special conference, uh, whatever it is, put that in your planner. Okay, so that's planning and desk day. Um, then you're done, you're done. Now if you work, the situation is different than if you're at home, right? So we talked about at home, talked a little bit at work, but let's go over work real quick. Morning routines, go to work. At, take a picture of your fridge, and maybe your pantry, maybe your freezer. Then when you go to work, you're gonna look at that on your first break and say, okay, I need to make a grocery list based on a menu that I can make up based on this because I see I have spaghetti sauce. I know I've got spaghetti in there. I think I even have ravioli. Do I have ricotta? Ooh, I have ricotta. I remember putting it in there. Is that ricotta? Yeah, that's ricotta. Oh, I can make, yeah, I need some eggs. I, I, can, I need some mozzarella cheese. I think I can make some, um, some lasagna this week instead of spaghetti. You know, you should put that down. You need some salad, you know, put that down. Um, make your grocery list. You know how to make a grocery list. Uh, make your menu, make a grocery list. And then on your lunch hour, you might have to finish that. Uh, and then maybe you need to pay a bill or two. Maybe you need to balance your checkbook. You know, you're going to be doing this. Excuse me, but there is an itchy hair there. <laughs> uh, you're going to be able to do this and get it done. I know you are because I worked all my life and as a payroll fly baby. Well, I wasn't a fly baby till about 2000, but I worked all my life. And I know I had to make my, my grocery list then. And I had to pay my bills then. So I know you can do it. Don't say you can't. It, you might not get it all done, but you'll get a lot of it done. All right, next, um, on your way home, you're gonna call and say, hey, Johnny, you know, don't forget that your job today is to do X, Y, Z. Maybe you've got them dusting the house as part of the weekly home blessing hour. Maybe you've broken that up. So when you get, and don't forget that Susie is gonna mop the kitchen and the bathrooms. And let me actually talk to her. Don't let kids give other kids directions. It's never a good idea. Okay, Susie, you need to mop the kit. No, don't say need. That's wrong. If you say need, they don't like that. You're going to say, remember, the weekly home blessing hour today is mopping the kitchen and the bathroom, but don't spend more than 10 minutes. That's your, that's your limit. So just do it real quick. That's like, what? Don't spend more than 10 minutes? Okay. And when you come home, you have to inspect what you expect. <clears throat> then you're going to put in a load of laundry. You're going to go through an inch of paper. Um, you're going to start your dinner, and then it is, um, you've done your basic weekly plan at work, so you're just going to work on your zone for 10 minutes or 15 if you need to declutter. That's it. When dinner's, you're going to have dinner holding when you do that because it's not going to take you long. 25 minutes max, 10 minutes and 15 minutes max. 10 minutes on uh, maybe your zone, and or maybe you have to do the weekly home blessing hour, I'm sorry. <clears throat> item and 15 minutes if you have to declutter in your zone if you only have to if you have to do the weekly home blessing hour and you don't have to declutter it's only 20 minutes max so I know you can do that dinner can hold for 20 minutes for sure all right then have dinner and then you have your after dinner routine then the before bed routines simple so enjoy your day this is one of your more challenging days because this is one of the things that takes the longest and the basic weekly plan uh, item the week planning and desk day takes the longest just like errand day takes a long time and the weekly home blessing hour but you can split that up all right that's it for today i hope you have a fabulous day and always remember that you are beautiful